Hello and welcome to our Fiji vlog. Oh my god, my hair is getting frizzy and frizzy for two minutes already. I didn't film any. I'm, we're literally in Fiji right now. We've got off the airplane. We got a transfer. Um, I actually booked this holiday with a travel agent because, like, I actually don't know why I've never done that before with myself. Because that is just such a me thing to do to have everything like done for me. And I actually got a really nice deal from what I think. So yeah, we're in Fiji. Good morning, good morning. So we got to the place. Oh my god, it is literally so much more gorgeous than I could ever ever imagine. Like the pictures do not do the fist just just of just of justice justice justice. And we got the ocean view room as well. So absolutely stunning. So basically, you can rather go to um, mainland or an island. So when I went into the travel agent, so they just said like the islands are a lot more like Fiji blue water and I was like okay let's go for one of those so we got off at the actual mainland and then we got a taxi or we got a uh, transfer for 20 minutes and then we got in a boat for 45 minutes but oh my god it's so worth it it's not darling it was incredible it's quite rotten for your birthday spoiled rotten <laughs> what are you doing looking at the itinerary just looking at well we haven't really got an itinerary <laughs> the plan is to do as little as possible i'm just looking at the map seeing what we can do yeah yeah hey carl thought i'd just uh jump on should i go on toilet or go on poo poo she probably doesn't want me to tell you this but um yeah she's gone poo poo i'm actually smoking the food in the air over here because she's uh doing great but yeah for the vlog i mean take a look So anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, you is saying, so we all had to get up at quarter to four for a flight. And Sam was coming over to my house and we were getting the flight from my house. And then he was like, oh, I think I'm just stopping my house on the way to the airport. And I was like, babe, do you know if this was me? This is a six minute drive. But if this was me, you would be so pissed off of me. But I'm so laid back, but I go, okay, what do you need at your house? That we need to get up at 3.30 for, all right? And what, did you, what was it? A, a beach book? pillow. A it wasn't a book. It was a beach pillow. You it have a book. book. When you came over, I found my sunglasses. Mm. Mm. So I asked Sinead where her green sunglasses are that I got her. I mean, should I think they're at Germans? Was that a bit lost? No, 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 definitely not. I, I hadn't seen them in a very long time, and I was very, very worried that I'd lost these sunglasses that Sam bought me. And this is these sunglasses are probably the most expensive piece of clothing that I own. And I don't have any fancy accessories or so and this is exactly why I don't buy fancy accessories because I lose them and I'm it's crazy. So I actually thought that I lost these. I haven't seen no haven't seen them in a long time. And we were moving the sofa. Like we're getting a new sofa. And where were they? Behind the sofa. Behind the sofa. And they didn't tell me. Um, because I was upstairs on the call. So we were quizzing her where they were when she came down. And then I put them on. And it probably took her about four, four or five minutes to notice that I had them on. And I was like, you find them! I was like, I knew I had them. I knew I didn't lose them. I knew I didn't lose them. I don't think I would lose them. They were just, obviously I had them on, sat on the sofa, they fell down the back. You know? So. Airpods. So put your Airpods. So we was I wasn't stressing. I know exactly where my AirPods are. I've lost a pair before. I'm not gonna act all innocent, but uh, you know I knew exactly where they were because I packed them. I had them in a certain section, passport, AirPods, all the important stuff that you need. So Sinead's panicking. Needs to buy a new pair. Buys a pair of wireless Sony ones, maybe. Can I and also then... just say that I have lost AirPods? I'm on my seventh pair of AirPod Pros. Like it says on my thing, number seven. She needs. My name on my phone is Princess. Princess is Airport Codes number seven. And, That's I, and I have the. Princess. I don't know why my phone's name is Princess. I'll be changing that. I used to Rocky. You're my prince? Yeah. I'm your princess. Yeah, but not the iPhones. Yeah. It's so funny to because. To your hotspot or your fucking airdrop, Princess. I know. I, know. I don't know how to change it. That's the way it is. Not good with technology, as you can see from this vlog, probably. But, um, yeah, so the AirPods, I. Oh, my seventh pair. I've lost, I've got the case, don't have them. So then I had another old pair of AirPods, not Pros. I could not find them and I was stressed and I couldn't find them. So I was like, I'll buy some in the airport. So I bought a new Sony pair and I bought the ones with the wire. So I was like, I'll just get them there $30. Um, 
got here, my AirPods were in my, it was telling me that my AirPods were with me and I was like, this is so fucking weird. They were in my fucking makeup bag. More of the story, don't bring makeup. More of the story is like, it's just the way it is, you know? This is the view of our food and we are sitting side by side so we can see the view. So, so. Me. <laughs> what is it? So lucky! <laughs> Spoil run! I just want to show them my wee bottle that your mum got me. Okay. You look so pretty and tanned. Oh, thank you. So gorgeous! <laughs> I just wanted to show you, I was opening my little perfume bottle, I love this perfume by the way, and Sam's mum got me it, and it says, can you see it? Mmm, to the bottle, the other way, oh yeah, <gasps> Chanel. Uh, no, I was just like, that is so cute, obsessed with that. So this is our little hut here, and then every morning we've just been coming back here for our dip. We're a little bit hungover today, so. There he is. My little Tarzan. <laughs> There's my little Tarzan. There's my giant. <laughs> How you feeling after last night? Oh. You got a little cava drunk, didn't you? Oh no, fuck me, didn't it? What's cava? Fuck me, it's plant, <laughs> soil. Comes from the bottom of the... <laughs> yeah. God Can nice. I just say? Tastes like... The both of us have been on treatment for... Um, Parasites. Oh. And then we just drank this native drink. It comes from dirt. Don't tell the doctor. Don't tell the doctor. He'll be very Hopefully angry. it's not be back. Sent me for six. Sent me west. So I have a parasite and he has a parasite. I have the same parasite. And not the same. Just the same. Uh, same type? Yeah, from the Blasto. same. Yeah. And his is. His makes him go more papers. And mine makes me no papers. Wouldn't you know? Oops, sorry, my hand. We're on a cloud nine. So, cloud nine is like an island. It's like a, it's like a little island that's like a beach club, apparently. So we're gonna go there. It's like forty-five minutes. Honestly, it was so expensive to actually get there. Like it was four, what was it, 400 per couple for the boat? So everyone told us that we need to go, so we were like, we have to go. Wave okay, everyone. <laughs> so we made it to Cloud Nine. No, it is, what is it like? Paradise. Oh my god, Look at that like, water you can see. You know, the water, the guys. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. It's just. I can't even describe it, it's just so stomach. Like in the middle of nowhere. So there's a mermaid in there. Wow. This place is paradise. We're discovering an island. Oh, we're gonna buy it. We're gonna buy it. I wanna have one picture on that island. You jumping out? Yeah. GG for president! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. You got it. It's recording. That's so, um, we should all get on. Yeah. That's so good. So we just got back from Cloud Nine 
Um, so you go there in the morning or in the evening. We did the morning time because it was loads of things already booked in the evening. And honestly, it was so worth it. It was so amazing. Like, it is literally in the middle of the ocean. That it is so blue. You can jump in. It is just, everyone's so friendly there. It's so nice. It's honestly so gorgeous. Like, you have to come. And we just, we literally just had the best day. We're having the best time. Like, I literally feel like I'm just having the best time ever. It's just so fun and just so... So every morning we've been going for a dip in the sea straight in. Honestly, it's been so, so nice. Um, and the water is so much nicer here. Like, I feel like when I go into Australia, my hair just goes crazy and in, like, real ratty. My hair just goes into, like, a nice little wave. I don't know if it's, like, the difference in the salt or whatever. And we've just been reading our books here where we have coffee. Sam is now reading surrounded by it. How much is read? Well, what's the product? You're an idiot. I knew I was going to say that. It's a good book. Yeah, yeah but you're not really much of a reader. <clears throat> no, nah, despite than Biff and... what he told me when we first started dating. Maybe a bit of Biff and Chip or picture books. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's actually a good book. It, it's funny when you read it and you read different colours and you're like, oh. What colour are you? Red and yellow. Red and yellow. That's quite a good one because red and yellow is the CEO and creative, enthusiastic, uh, oh, maybe spontaneous. Green, actually, sorry. Red and green? Maybe, yeah. Mm, yeah, I thought you were red and green. I'm pure yellow, so if you haven't read this book, it's basically a book on personality types. Stu's blue, isn't it? Is it blue or no, blue? No, Stu's yellow. So basically, like, when yeah, you yeah, find like, out about yourself, you can t it teaches you how to deal with other people in this, and it really, really helped me with my, like, relationship with my mom as well, because I'm so yellow, so I'm, like, enthusiastic, creative, no time, no uh, concept of time, whilst my mom's, like, really blue, she's, like, really time conscious, and uh, everything needs to be on time, it has to be less, and I didn't realise that, like, if she's not on time, it makes her anxious, and it's the same as you, kind of, as well, I just thought, well for no one time it's not a big deal because the yellows never don't think it's a big deal because they're always late and it just really helped me like be like a better person and understand other people so if you're looking for a good book to especially your partner as well because i said to sam i was like before we travel europe you need to read this book and understand me so i can understand so we can work with each other you know what i mean it's a very good book so yeah so they have like a few different restaurants i think we're going to this one tonight it's um where they do all like the billa billa dancing and stuff Bula bula. There he is. Bula. 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 Um, so that will be oh. so cute later. It's cute. Cute. Where are we going now? For a massage. We're not going for a massage now. We're going to the chapel. Oh, huh. no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> when I thought getting married <laughs> and we're. What a great pair. Here you go, sir. Thank you, darling. Do we get a dance? Ooh. What did you say? Probably had a bit too much quality time. Too much quality time? Where's Stu and Sinead? <laughs> <laughs> so, what we were saying was, oh, such a lip sip. Oh. Um, is that we always have loads of friends and everyone knows that. Well, actually, we never actually uploaded the ballet vlog where we talked about how much little quality time we got because our friends want to come with us everywhere. We go on a date, they're like, hi, can we come? And we're like, okay. I really thought um, I was going to pop up to Fiji, to be honest, as well, and be here. Is we it honestly, recording? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We honestly thought they were going to be on the flight, but anyway, they weren't. 
I and then we were like, and we were like, guys, we need quality time. You need to leave us alone. And then they will be like, no, come back. But anyway, sure. we got here. We were like, oh, quality time. And then we just met loads of friends. <laughs> yeah, we're just so sociable. We're just so sociable. Just love everyone. It's been so we a met nice these mix, we, though. Yeah, we met like these people from <clears> Adelaide. Um, they're really, really nice. They just got married, so they're on their honeymoon. Yeah. And we joined them on their honeymoon. And yeah. then we went to. Then we met another couple from Canada. Yeah. And their daughter. And yeah. then we met another couple from Nusa. And they were oh, a cute yeah. little baby as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, it's uh, very we're loving couples it. Retreat it's like, um, what do you call that? What do you call that show? White Lotus. It's not about like White Lotus. I keep thinking, like, um, all I think about is White Lotus when I'm sitting for dinner. What was the um, what was the show at home like back in the UK ages ago? Benadorm. Was it? <laughs> Benadorm. What's it called? Benadorm. Is it called Benadorm? <laughs> and there was always something that goes wrong in the hotel. It's a sick show. I don't know. That toe's giving me that point out. <laughs> Sam's got no toenail because of the it's marathon. It's an athlete. It's an athlete. <laughs> Come on. Okay, go get a cocktail. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> We're up in the sunset at the helipad. It's so, so gorgeous. Look at my hair getting jig. Sam went and got salt water because it's the only thing that makes it curly, but I didn't think I'd put enough in. And now it's a bit crazy. I'm sweating because we had to go up this hill. But it is so stunning. Isn't it? It's so nice. And there's our, all our new friends. Yeah. <laughs> and in the bad times I fear myself. I just had my dip. So I'm gonna take you back in because I feel like we haven't really vlogged. Well, we have, but not really. Last night we didn't bring the camera or anything, but we went to this amazing fire show. It was in the resort and it was absolutely amazing. Well, here he is. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Be careful now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your night, because you were the star of the show. I was. They feel like they warmed us up with the dancing, and then once they see how loose my hips were, they was calling me up on the D floor. Next thing I know, I had the crowd, of my, the crowd in the palm of my hands. <laughs> Everybody was copying my dance moves. Fuck. <laughs> I think I want to become a professional dancer. I'm going to be hitting up Loz. For a couple of dance routines. Are you a... are you name dropping in the vlog again? Well, okay. I'm gonna be hitting up a dance person. <laughs> you can teach me how to Ula! Ula! I'll tell them the real story. Can this go in here or not? That's fine. Forever not. And uh, the real story was um I no, they were asking people up and nobody would go up, but I was like, this is our only opportunity to be taught by Fiji dancers to teach us how to Fiji dance. This is true. I am getting up. No one knows me here. I'm going to get up there and I'm going to dance. But I did think they were going to teach me the moves. <laughs> but in fact, they did not. Stiff hips. They <laughs> they just danced and we had to go along and I was like, wow, I cannot dance. End of video here. I was on the megaphone like, has anybody on... <laughs> Sokoriki Island got WD-40 for this girl because she is stiff. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> then uh, at the end they were like, stand up everyone, like why well, everyone stand up and then they got us on the dance floor and actually before the dance floor we all watched the fire show. Watched the fire show. Oh my god. Incredible. Enter video here. It was amazing. It was absolutely stunning. Um, one of the best nights we had, I think. Yeah. We also went snorkeling. We forgot about the snorkel. But anyway, so we were at the fire dance and then they got us up to dance. Mm. I mean, everyone up to dance and Sam was moving his hips like snakey hips that you might see in some videos. And then he, they, they got him to teach everyone to dance the Macarena. 
and he was just up there. I was like, no, if they did ask me to do that, I would actually die. And he just <laughs> did it. <laughs> Turns out it was murder on a dance floor. You can knock you to groove, DJ. <laughs> and then we also you are. Had... <laughs> and so and so and so and so and so and so and so. And, so. Um, and then. Oh yeah, we went snorkeling yesterday. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was amazing. I actually freaked out because they literally dropped us out in the middle of the ocean, and they took us on a jet ski, and they went so fast. We were hanging on the back of the jet ski, and they just took us out. They're like, okay. Um, they did stay around, and then we just snorkeled through the reefs, and it was amazing. We seen loads and loads of fishies, and I was really scared. And Sam kept going off the phone, and then he held my hand the whole time. He was cute. Yeah. But it was like, how long did you want to go out for? Was it oh, maybe 15, 20 minutes? <laughs> we were there for like an hour. An hour and a half. They're coming there. I was like, right, we're closing now. I was like, no, piss off. <laughs> and they come it. and got us. It was like meditating. Was yeah. Sad. And all the coral was so fresh and you could just tell it was... I had loads of amazing ideas for meditations when I was in there. So my brain was kicking. But yeah, that was yeah. it. <laughs> you're recording. You can't. <laughs> Can you tell us what you're doing and give them all the tricks of the trade? We were just laughing. You, know, you said something funny. No. So we have discovered, we have discovered that your abs look good whenever you laugh. So every time we take a photo, he's going under him. Every time we take a photo, <laughs> <laughs> we're like, pretend to laugh. And that's what we've been doing. And I just got him on camera. So. Carl, do not put this in the vlog. <laughs> okay. I actually did one year ago, I'm not going to do that. You need to flick your head up. Like this? And then... In the water, your sausage. Like this? Yep. It needs to go in the water, your melt. No, too much. Go on, quick. Head down, head down. I can't. Get in there, quick. One, two, three, go. So this is our lunch spot. Sam really, really, really takes a biscuit because it's all inclusive and he literally eats three courses at every meal and uh, can I just say that he is 100% lactose intolerant we have discovered this together but he does not listen to me and continues to eat cheese <clears throat> all right and now he's trying to pretend that he doesn't have a source of mine can I know by looking at him it's not very mature is it <laughs> the dad jokes um, I know by looking at him that so what did they say you had? IES? Parasite. No, it's not the parasite and you know it because your belly's sore now and the parasite's gone. It's not sore, it's just very full. Why? Because I ate cheese. Because you ate cheese. Well, it was so good. Mozzarella. It was worth it. Oh, it was so worth it. The food is good here. Unreal. Unreal. That fried rice was banging. But that mozzarella. Do you not like my fried rice that I make? That's just rice out of an Uncle Ben's bag. And yours isn't? Do you not like my cooking? Am I allowed to lie on here? <laughs> no, the last couple of meals you've made have actually been banging, to be fair. Mm, I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, you are, but before that... <laughs> Any question, what's your favourite part being? What's your favourite part of what? The holiday. Oh, I thought you said of you, and I was like, you know what's your part of the I only want to have eaten cheese, yeah? Your packs. You want to have eaten cheese? Uh, favourite part of the holiday. I actually really liked uh, the fire dancing. The favourite part. How did they dance? With the hips. Is that Shakira? Oh, look, show them that. Hi, Matt. Hello. What's your favourite? What's your favourite part of the holiday been? Oh, I'm meeting you guys, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Airport boyfriend, assemble. We are now back in Sydney. Yes. Just keep an eye out for our taxi. What do you have to say? Close this vlog down. After Sunny's life, and Monopoly deals, it's the way forward.